Hi, I'm Matthias. Today we're going to talk about sustainability in FMCG supply chains. Often, people are the ones that are being blamed for food waste, but it can also occur in supply chains. Can you give a bit more information on how that can be the case in FMCG? Companies. We as consumers are blamed for food waste and rightly so because a lot of food waste is happening on our side. Uh, but in fact 40% of food waste in developed countries is happening before actually goods arrive at destination, right? So that is a huge challenge and it is a lot of responsibility on us as well as on our FMCG customers to so solve those things, right? So to optimize supply chains is very, very important. And to optimize, you need visibility into supply chains. The good thing when you optimize supply chains is that you optimize your cost, but you also optimize your sales sustainability at the same time, and you simplify supply chains. And in fact, we have a lot of tools at Merck to deliver those kind of solutions for our customers, being lead logistic solutions, being various kind of visibility solutions where we can really visualize the supply chain on order item SKU level to our customers for them to make informed decisions. When discussing food waste in FMCG supply chains, can you explain where it can happen? It can happen all over the place, right? The food waste uh, can happen at origin because it's all about handovers from suppliers to transportation companies to, uh, to FMCG companies to retailers to, to the consumer in the end. So it's a lot of risk factors along the way. And if you look at the origin, for example, the sourcing, if you have vegetables and fruit, it can go very fast to destroy goods, actually. If you have the wrong temperatures and don't hold the, the cold chain, it really can go from 0 to 100 extremely fast. Then we have the transportation, and there's a lot of disruptions happening there as well. During the pandemic, for example, we saw that we were omitting ports and those kind of things, and that can lead to delays at origin and at destination, and it can lead to demarge and detention situations, which is a risk factor in itself, right? Warehousing is also a big area of risk where you actually strip containers and put them out for delivery to the, to the final consumers, right? So all of that as well, as well as the final delivery. If it's too late or if it's too early, there's also a risk factor that actually can lead to food waste in the end. How can FMCG companies minimize their food waste? First of all, look at the root causes, right? And mainly two, I would say. One is, of course, the complete end-to-end -end cold chain and that you have temperature control along the entire chain, right? Number two is, of course, the disruptions and the handovers across the supply chain. Handovers between supplier to transportation company to customer to final consumer in the end. And that's, of course, all risk factors. In all of this, visibility is critical and optimization of the supply chain. And here, MERS can do a lot of things. We have, for example, TradeLens, which is blockchain technology, uh, captured visibility and data where you can actually track commodity all the way to origin. Or, for example, Captain Peter, where we are also providing a lot of visibility uh, solutions to customers, uh, providing order item SKU visibility and also temperature control control for customers, right? Aligned with that, you need the processes around it as well. So you have the people in the background also providing uh, support and, and uh, taking action on any exception that happens in the supply chain.